Welcome back. Uh, my little daughter just gave me some time to make a short video. Um, this video is about a multimeter I buy from Banggood in China. Of course, it's not a good brand or something very from high quality, but it was cheap, about 12 euro. Um, I think now it is more expensive, but really not very expensive. And that is what you get. You get the multimeter, you get the test leads, you get the thermocouple, you get a really bad smelling bag. So after this video, I throw it away because it's, I think a car will run about thousand kilometers from the oil in it. It's really terrible smelling. A small user manual, um, looks like all in English, maybe the other side is not, it's all in English. And it's okay. Um, it has 6,000 counts, so not so bad. The accuracy they give, maybe you want to read. Doesn't matter, I. not so important what they say. Um, in the second video, I will test some of the functions. I will try out the, um, the settings, what you can do with it. This video is about what is in the package, what is the price and the smelling bag. So this bag really goes somewhere totally else. Then we have the thermocouple, we have the test leads. Um, they feel good, but I'm not sure about how thick they are. And I don't want to destroy them, but they look neat. And the tips are sharp. And of course you can remove this and yeah, it looks like really the good quality ones only shrinking very small but hey i don't want to destroy them so i have an idea to check the resistance of it without measuring the resistance directly you will see later or in another video so just go to this side and there's the multimedia multimeter okay i'm german so some words not so easy for me it has a stand but this is uh, very wobbly so go ahead um yeah this is my first multimeter that have built-in light. All my other ones don't have this, so it's okay. Now I have one I can use in the dark. Um, it measures volt, millivolt, ohm, the diodes, um, capacity, and it has the continuity tester. It measures hertz, ampere, milliampere. And this is funny, the rating, oh, we will open it, I don't think that it is really, it says 600 volt CAT3 and 1000 volt CAT2, fused 600 milliampere max and then here fused 10 amp. So I'm not sure about this, but hey, it's small, I won't measure 600 with it, maybe 230, the mains in Germany, but I think the maximum voltage this will ever get is about 30. So I'm not believe on what I wrote here. On the back, you see, um, yeah, they don't have any of the label saying CE, the use one in German, what, the, what you have to use in the European Union. It doesn't have any testing things or TÜV in Germany, but I think that's okay. They are not so... Yeah, copy the symbols and say, ah, oh, this product is tested by, by this and this and this and this. So, of course, I don't believe this, that it is 600 watt CAT3 and 1000 watt CAT2. But they're not saying something about other testing standards or so. And I like the size. Yeah, okay. Now to the offer or to the what Banggood write about it. They call it the ANENG AN8002 Digital Toure. Also, Toure, not true. They're Toure. Yeah, it, it should. I think they want to write true. RMS 6000 counts, multimeter, AC DC current, voltage frequency, resistance, resistance temperature tester, Celsius, and Fahrenheit. So, yeah, very long, but. Hmm, doesn't matter. Um, now the price is 1677. That is already quite high. Um, but there are some other models for cheaper than this. But A for 12 euro, 
with the nice size I think it's okay even the quality won't be so good and the very bad smelling back the back is terrible I tell you so um, yeah before we open it no we just open it let's get the tools I need a screwdriver um, the battery I already inserted so I was wondering they really use here they use a threaded screw screw but this is already very flimsy it fall apart in 1000 parts yeah the batteries are from here so they was not included they didn't include the batteries I could not believe that they don't include the batteries but hey I found this cheap one so it doesn't matter then we have four screws at the corner these are not metal threaded, these are self-tapping screws. I like when the screws come out. I tell I give my channel a new name, I think TH Singer was it's my name, but I think for a channel it was not the best name. And I give it the name Quick and Dirty. So I'm not like very long plans how to make a video and cutting together and put these things. I just like oh like this just press on it and it comes out okay well, it has a little groove where the plastic goes in as plast protection doesn't matter thousand volts it will never be one thousand volt okay yes that's <clears throat> maybe I should use a zoom or a magnifying glass for this there can you see there are the 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 oh my gosh the fuse yeah I never see tiny fuse like this does anybody knows what is the name of this fuse I have really no idea at this is the 600 milliampere and that is the no this is the 600 milliamp and that is a 10 amp fuse yeah worth wondering what happened if you get 10 amp and 1000 volt over this fuse I think it will Explodes. Okay, I <laughs> explode. I will give you a magnifier glass. Maybe then the fuse is a little bit bigger. Can you see this tiny, tiny fuse? So somewhere. Wow. Yeah. This fuse is <laughs> funny. Yeah. Okay. I should get out a measure. So my, my, my. Maybe we call it sheep leather because you're sheep and you get it. Okay, I found it. It's a little bit loud. So, I'm really wondering how big is this? So, oh my gosh, I think I guess now one centimeter. Yeah, it's one centimeter long. Let me see if we can go a little bit higher. There, one centimeter long and the diameter, 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 Durchmesser is about three point okay my lighting is not the best maybe this i try to give you a good look three point something yeah if i press hard it's three three millimeters uh, this is the smallest fuse i ever see okay i know there are fuses um smd fuses or surface mount fuses like this but this is the smallest fuse i ever see in a multimeter in something like this so it's never 600 volt cat 3 or 1000 volt cat 2 so the battery compartment is just molded or just soldered to the pcb the chipset is here there's another little chip let me see if i can read what it is it's an p24c something something doesn't matter I'm not here to analyze how it works I just want to see how it looks from inside I don't think that I need to go to the other side because I really like the small one I would use it for 30 volt so this is okay and 10 amp well, I have nothing with 10 amp here so really I won't recommend to use it with anything higher than 30 volt and maybe one or two amp um, but I like the size and the look of it it looks nice and 11 and for 12 euro it was cheap so I put it together because really 
nothing to see inside. That is, how to say, that is important to see. So just one and number <laughs> number two. A little bit in hurry, my daughter is waiting for me. Uh, not really, I don't want to make 20 minutes talking about a multimeter. A DMM, I don't know how to say in English. In Dutch we say multimeter. Okay, not very lucky. When something needs to go fast, it slows down totally. So, one, two, three, four. Battery spec. And this thing goes. Oh. Okay. Really. It is not the best construction. It looks nice. The plastic doesn't feel so bad. Except the. Oh, it goes there. Now, okay. Uh, the plastic from the multimeter doesn't smell bad. Um, it is really the, the plastic bag they delivered with that smells very bad. So, that was the first view at the ANENG trademark. It has a trademark. Yeah, it has a trademark. AN8002. 600 watt cat 3 I, I have to say it again really 600 watt cat 3 and 1000 watt cat 2 doesn't leave it but I have to say it again it's not and it says true arm is here not tour 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 I don't know what it means it has no meaning in German or English I think so maybe English word for something weird kind of okay so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video it is about 10 minutes maybe a little bit longer um, the next video okay you see it from inside already next video will be a little bit about the precision or what it shows for this I will use another multimeter that I have my best one in my cheap things around here I don't have the fancy fancy fluke multimeters or more expensive stuff because hey i'm a dad i buy a house so i have no money for the hobby thanks for watching and come back soon